now we just gotta find Vivian. And I'm going to save. Oh, cutscene. With Cassandra. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses as well as the capital. Uh, uh going was, was worth the risk. We had to do something, and now we have an opportunity. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You'd think the Mage Rebellion is more united. It could be ten times worse. Um... Well, I'm a mage. So I'm leaning with... towards... Mages. I could at least find out what the mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. I think it's a trap. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. Who are the Grey Wardens? Grey Wardens? I'm not familiar with them. They're an ancient order that has existed to fight Darkspawn invasions since the First Blight thousands of years ago. They have faded since those glory days, but haven't disappeared entirely. Ordinarily, their order is neutral in political affairs, but they appear in strange places. Um, that sounds suspicious. That does sound odd. I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't, then there may be more going on than we thought. Mm-hmm. Interlested. Uh, where was it? Probably Hinterland Hinterlands. Oh, I still gotta do that at the war table. Mercenary Fortress. Where's this black wall? Maybe it's an inner circle? Must be. Yep, it is. Captain of the Chargers. Speak to the messenger. We're gonna have to do a couple of these inner circle missions. And Christ, we got <laughs> another side mission out here. Let's grab that real quick. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. There we go. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Uh, who are you? Who are you, soldier? 
Comitius are classy with the Bulls Charges Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bulls Charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. Um, tell me about your leader. What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull? He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Uh, what's your company? What can your bull's charges offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royale. We've got references. Why give us a message? Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. Um, then we welcome the help. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Okay. Now, where's Vivian? I think she's over here somewhere. There she is. I have to give Vivian's backstory. You came from the circle at Ostwick, did you not? Senior Enchanter Lydia was Should've a dear friend of mine. Were you at all acquainted? Uh, I don't know. Didn't get along. I studied with her a bit. Um, uh, she was my mentor. I I don't know. Lydia was my instructor. Oh, nice. She was almost a mother to me. I never met a wiser soul than her. I understand she was killed by one of her own students when the Ostwick Circle rebelled. I think we both agree that this war must end. Hmm. Templars made their beds. Just justice is all that matters. This chaos harms everyone. We need the circle restored. I'm tempted to go with one of these two. I'm gonna say harms everyone. The war benefits no one. It must end. An order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. I'll do all I can, and you'll help decide. I'll do what I can. I'll try not to let them down. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford, my dear. For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. I'll use it to change things. The Chantry will be restored. No one should have that power. And Drast State chose me. No one should have that power. Nobody should claim to know the will of the Maker. Not me and not the Chantry. Perhaps nobody should. But if no one leads the way, many will be left behind in darkness. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. No. Yes. Tell me about the tell me about yourself. I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivienne. Whatever would you like to know? Uh where are you from? Your accent's not Orlesian. Where exactly are you from? I am from the circle, my dear. One's country of origin rarely matters there. But if you must know, I was born in Wycombe in the Free Marches. I was sent to the Ostwick Circle. But I transferred to Monsima while still an apprentice. He didn't become a. Cr cr oh, any chance we might? Uh, no. I'm curious how a circle mage winds up a courtier. Nobody winds up at court, my dear. It takes a great deal of effort to arrive there. I caught the eye of Duke Bastien de Ghislaine, an advantageous connection that opened many doors. When the position of Enchanter to the Imperial Court became vacant, I was able to secure it. Okay, so you married a duke? You're married to the Duke de Ghislaine. <laughs> of course not, my dear. Don't be ridiculous. Marriage is the business of alliance and inheritance. I'm Bastien's mistress. Ah, okay. Um... 
Yeah, what does his wife think? And what does the Duchess de Ghislaine think of this arrangement? We got along quite well. What? Duchess Nicoline and I used to host musical salons together. She was a great patron of the arts. She passed away from a fever a few years ago. The poor dear. Wow. I... Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, huh. Does the court enchanter have? I am tasked with providing assistance to the Empress on arcane matters. Most of my predecessors restricted this to lighting lamps and doing parlor tricks. In such troubled times as these, however, I provide political advice to Her Majesty on the subject of the Mage Rebellion. Huh. I'm so yes. blown away by that. Oh, we got along great, my dear. Uh, tell me about the circle. I wanted to ask you about the Circle of Magi. Of course. What do you wish to know? Um... What was your circle like? I've never been to the Montsamal Circle. What was it like? A place of great history and tradition, with the greatest library of magical history outside of the Imperium. It was deeply involved in the Great Game, as you might expect of anyone living in Orlais. The mages there were quite competitive, but it was stimulating to be always pushed to exceed the abilities of my peers. Okay. Uh, wasn't the circle disbanded? If the circle disbanded, how can you still belong to it? The circle is an idea, my dear. And an idea cannot be dissolved. Many of the first enchanters voted for rebellion, caring little that anything short of a unanimous decision would pit mage against mage. Rather than dissolving it, Grand Enchanter Fiona's vote split the circle in two. The rebels follow her. The loyalists follow me. Hmm. How did the rebellion start? How did we come to this state with the circles in revolt? You, my dear, are far too wise not to have realized that many of our colleagues live with their eyes closed. Safe from the world inside their towers, they thought only of the Templars and their own resentment. Kirkwall gave the world a reason to remember its fear of magic. A mage killed hundreds with a snap of their fingers. Across Thedas, a new tangible fear of magic grew. Commoners and nobles alike called out to the Chantry for protection. But the malcontents in the towers thought nothing of this. They cared only for themselves and for their anger at the new Templar restrictions. When a mage attempted to assassinate Divine Justinia again, the mages protested the investigation. The leadership chose to vote on independence based on the intolerable conditions imposed by the Templars, sparing no thought to the fact that magic was more feared in the aftermath of these attacks than it had been since Tevinter's day. So long as they had their freedom, they could care little for riots, angry mobs, or about pitting mages against each other. Hmm. Uh, were they justified? Mages are fighting mages. I thought the fighting was only between mages and Templars. Why are mages fighting mages? The vote for independence was carried by only a small margin. But Fiona chose to let the motion stand. Those who opposed a rash declaration of war against the entire free world had little choice. By breaking from the Chantry when they did, the rebels declared themselves in support of mass murder. Anyone who did not wish to support terrorism and the slaughter of innocents was forced to take arms against the rebels. Hmm. Were they justified? Did they have cause to rebel? In the aftermath of their terrorist attacks? Was that really the most opportune time to break away? By all means protest abuses by the Templars. Just don't do it in a way that says mages support wholesale murder. By voting when they did, my colleagues all but declared war upon the ordinary people of Thedas. A war in which we are outnumbered a hundred to one. Did you know Fiona? Are you familiar with Grand Enchanter Fiona? We've met. Before her horrendously ill-timed and selfish vote for independence, I thought her adequate at her job. In her dotage, she could not handle looking after the well-being of so many people. We would have done better to replace her years ago to let her spend time gardening. Hmm, okay. Yes? I already asked that. Okay. Um, I want to help the circle. 
Is there anything I can do to help your efforts at restoring the Circle? After the Circles fell, their libraries were plundered by scavengers. A thousand years of recorded knowledge in the hands of bandits. It makes me sick to think of it. I've received news that some tomes have been located, if you are interested in writing this wrong. I'll find them. I'll look into it for you. If you can take care of this matter, the circle would be in your debt. Hmm. Okay. So that's Vivian's uh, story. Yeah, and uh, Sierra, Sierra, open the locks down here. Ow, my head. Let's go see what's in here. More reading. Oh yes, loot box too. Bride of the Maker. God, the books. L fruit. More books. This must be the library in here. The Black City. If there's anything in the uh, dungeons, there is. Just some herbs, basically. Misplaced notes. Okay. Not too much down here, but we got uh, some herbs. Herbs and a little bit of XP. Speak only the word. Sing only the charm. The way to win then the golden city is thine. Yes, I have heard them as well. Would you wish to? Just gonna save here. Just in case. Your self restored. I do not believe that would be wise. The number of demons present might leave me vulnerable to possession. I might also experience feelings of discomfort over events that occurred Speak while I was in this state. Word. I can Sing survive in this fashion. The charm. If I were made then whole again, I might not. Is it is a terrible bargain we ask you to make. What was that all about? That's all the same stuff. Can't talk to Fiona. Apothecary Adon wanted to know where he might be able to provide the materials he needs. I asked Adon not to rush us. Demon essence is dangerous. Sorry. No, it it's fine. Just tell him we'll have it for him as soon as we can. Okay. Anything to report. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Okay. Let's speak later. We'll try to get Another more. Time. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> 